Podcast, News 18, weather from where you live. We're checking some cool rain headed our way. It's down here right now, working to the northeast and already the high and the mid-level clouds coming into western Illinois. So we'll see these clouds increase and thicken up pretty rapidly tomorrow morning. So if you're going to mow tomorrow or you're, uh, you got a little league game, it ought to be in the morning to midday because then rain comes in after that. And it's a no-mo by late afternoon and evening. It's a no-mo Sunday morning due to rainfall, but then it's a, just a high-end caution for the rest of Sunday because it, any rainfall will become rather spotty with just a few uh, spotty to scattered showers and thunder showers around. But tonight, though, 36 Peru and Logan's Poor down to Galveston, 37 Flora and Winnemac to 40 Lafayette, and 42 at Covington. Now, that 36... Uh, typically occurs around May 5th, the last one of the spring, typically occurs around May 5th in our northeastern county. So the last 36 occurring about a week later than normal this year, it appears. 59 the high tomorrow. Showers come in during the afternoon with a cool east to east-northeast wind, upper 50 southern half, around 60 to low 60s north. Cooler down here because that's where the thicker clouds will arrive first, and that's where the rain will arrive first tomorrow. Sunday, kind of rainy in the morning, then spotty to scattered rain, and even a little thunder in the afternoon. A peak or two of sun, but cool high of 58 after mid to upper 40s in the morning, with 58 at Rochester, down to floor in Delphi, to 56 for the high at Kentland. So here are the high and the mid-level clouds streaking in, increasing, thickening tomorrow. Here come the the showers, the rainfall comes in during the afternoon, into the evening, and even into tomorrow night. This is 11 o'clock, this is midnight, and then it becomes a little more showery on Sunday. Notice the, the bigger area of rainfall pulls away, and then we just kind of bubble up some scattered showers, and a few thunder showers Sunday afternoon as the upper low comes in. That pivots away, and only a lingering shower or two Monday, dry Tuesday and warmer, then a wave of showers and storms comes through later Wednesday into Wednesday evening, and then it just gets warm and windy around here with a taste of summer down the road. Total rainfall anywhere from a third to as much as eight, nine tenths of an inch expected from now to Monday morning. The highest totals in our eastern and southeastern counties, and the normal first 85 degree high is around May 10th to 17th in the area, and we may very well see our first 85. Once we get beyond this seven day forecast, 58 Sunday, 64 Monday, but warmer and dry, 73 Tuesday, wave of showers and storms Wednesday with a 76, a little cooler Thursday, cool Thursday night with 45, warms up Friday, but beyond Friday, that next weekend and beyond, we may have a period of temps well into the 80s with some pretty dry and windy weather too. So. There's good news down the road. Some farmers did get some planting and field work done before it rained uh, yesterday, but uh, they're going to have a much longer stretch down the road here. Yeah, at least today. I don't think, was there any rain today at all? No, it, yeah. a, a hair, a little bit of drizzle very early, but mm -hmm. uh, a lot of clouds. Didn't really affect you, Andy. Yeah. Here's your conference. No, it will tomorrow. 